guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well now those who have seen my previous video this drawing will look very familiar to them as in my previous video i showed my process of outlining this dog using freehand method because in most of my videos i actually have to go very fast with the drawing in order to make the video shorter so it actually becomes impossible to show the drawing process of mine and thus i made a separate video for that where I included some real time footage as well in order to make the things a bit easier to understand. Now anyone who has not watched my previous video, I will highly recommend you to watch that video first because it will help you to understand the fact that most of the good realistic paintings or drawings start with a proper basic drawing which act as the foundation of your further efforts. I have given the link of my previous video in the i button on the upper right corner of this video so you can check this out from here. Now moving forward, in this video I will focus on using Micron Drawing and Illustration Pen mixed with watercolors to create a realistic looking portrait of this dog. As you can see at this stage I am using the watercolors in order to paint the shadows. Now this may look very weird and unlikely approach at this stage because most of the people start drawing either from the eyes or from a specific corner of the subject. But I am not following that approach rather I have started with watercolors in order to establish a base tone for the shadow area. The colors I have used for this area is a very basic and neutral color which is composed of Prussian blue mixed with a bit of sap green, crimson lake and yellow ochre. I am also using various light and dark values while leaving the white for the highlights in order to separate the values otherwise it will look very flat. Now as you can see I have started drawing with the micron pants and I have started from the area where the values are quite dark and there is a dramatic play of light as well where a subtle light is hitting on the peak of the nose. And thus we have to save this lighter value from the very beginning more like watercolors. In pen drawings as well, you need to start with lighter strokes by applying less pressure on your pens and gradually increasing the pressure in order to darken the value. So if you can follow these simple steps, in most of the cases you will be able to capture light on your subject while dealing with pen drawings. Now I am just showing you in real time how I have applied the strokes. The approach is same almost throughout the drawing. Following the direction of force in painting or drawing any pet portraits is extremely important otherwise you will make a whole lot of efforts but the result will not be satisfactory. Now I am just following the similar technique in order to render the texture of the fur surrounding the face. Here you can see me using mainly two pants. One is black and the other is of a lighter color. Now I am speaking about the color of the pants and not the ink. So don't get confused because both the pants contains black ink. Now the basic difference between them is in the size of their tip. The black pen is of size 0.05 mm and the other one being 0.1 mm. So the black pen gives much lighter and thinner strokes compared to the one with 0.1 size. Now as I mentioned earlier the reason why I am using the two pants is because I don't want a very even transition of strokes throughout the drawing. It will make the skin look very flat and dimensionless. As in this case we have only the values to play around so keeping this particular fact in mind is very important. Now I am using a white pen in order to draw the whiskers of the dog which are quite interesting. See one important thing to notice here is that I have not tried to use each individual color separately. Rather I mix them together 
saw that the overall clumps of brush strokes reflect the presence of those colors as a whole. You can see how I have drawn each whisker at a time with a curvy stroke following the direction from top to bottom because I want the whiskers to look sharp and thin as they move outward. Now I'm just using the 0.05 micron pen in order to thin down some of the whiskers which look bulky and unnatural. Those small things are very important to notice because they contribute towards the overall outcome of your drawing. Now I have just started working on the left eye and the area around it as eyes are very important to establish in a drawing because they provide character to your subject. Along with the eye, I have also drawn some patchy marks on the skin of the dog. You can actually watch me drawing one in real time now and it's nothing but the accumulation of multiple strokes applied in a specific direction. Now if you look closely you can see that a piece of paper is kept adjacent to my work which I am using in order to test the consistency of my strokes. Because sometimes the pen may cause bloating so it's always better to test your pen on a rough piece of paper like this before using it directly on your work. Now I am just working on the right eye which is also an important part of this drawing. And you can see how delicately I have just drawn the outlines of the eye and then started focusing on the value to create the right contrast. Because in case of eyes, it's all about contrast. If the contrast between the light and the dark values are not good enough, then the sense of depth in the eyes will be really hard to establish. Now I'm just drawing the area around the eye where I'm following the same technique of layering the strokes in a specific direction to create the realistic looking furry texture all over the skin. See I have not tried to copy each individual first as per my reference and you should not be doing that as well because the human eye looks and perceives the things often in clumps. So you just have to use the reference image for the sake of reference only because we are not trying to create a hyper realistic drawing. We are just trying to capture the life and likeliness present in our subject, in this case this particular dog. So there is enough creative freedom given to you if you can just make it work in favor of yours. So painting or drawing realistic is not merely about copying your reference, it's more about understanding and making a deep connection with your subject. So I highly recommend to observe the real life subjects very closely whenever possible because it will help you in your creative process. You can notice that the lower end of the face which I initially painted with the watercolors is also rendered with some medium and lighter gray strokes in order to create more depth and continuity in the overall drawing. And you can see that the fresh watercolor underpainting is showing through the lighter pen strokes which is creating even more contrast in the area which is really pleasant to watch out. Now I have just started working in the air and I am following the similar technique as earlier in order to render this area as well.
The neck region is also drawn with a similar technique where the dark patchy strokes are accompanied by medium gray strokes in order to create a resemblance between the light and the dark values so that the whole area looks connected. Now this drawing is almost done and I am just putting a few more finishing touches here and there. I hope you like this drawing. And if you are a dog lover then please don't go without hitting the like button and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for your time guys. See you all in my next video. Till then take care and happy drawing. Hey guys thanks a lot for watching. If you want to support my work then please do like, comment and share my works and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as I post a new video.